Hey y'all, Texas Beekeeper here. Uh, today I'm gonna just go and show y'all the hives that I had some virgin queens trying to get mated. This was the one spot, and I don't think it's the spot, I think it was the weather at the time. Uh, we had a lot of on and off showers and wind uh, right around the time we were trying to get these mated. And uh, out of the four colonies, it's uh, one, two, three, and four. Uh, this one is the only one that I think has come back mated good anyways. Uh, this second one over here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but this, this second one, the queen came back and she's in there where she was, but she's got a main leg or a missing leg. Uh, and I have not been seeing eggs in there. The next one over, that one came back and she had a string hanging out of her abdomen. And uh, I actually pulled it out. She wasn't laying either. And I pulled that out, but not expecting that she's gonna be laying either. And then this other one, uh, no queen returned that I saw anyways, and no eggs. So that one I've actually already uh, split it up and merged it into some other colonies. So. I'm gonna just go in, show y'all, and uh, that'll be a 25% for that round, which was, I believe, round two. Uh, round three, which I'm gonna show y'all hopefully here in a little bit, was 100%. Round one, as you remember, was 100%, and round four was 100%. And then I had six splits uh, north of me that I did, and all six of those, 100%. And then two more splits uh, just a little bit northwest and uh, those both were 100% I actually just went out there today and marked those and then here in my other part of my bee yard I did uh, I believe two others uh, virgin mate matings and both of those came back as well so 100% if I don't count this second round otherwise it drops me to I have to do the math but I think it was like 70 79 or somewhere around there but I'll, I'll post the the uh, actual average once I get this done but uh, so again I don't think it was necessarily the being in the trees uh, I, I think it was the weather at the time because I remember it was just on and off rain wind bad just bad overall weather for having queens get mated and you know they don't have a, a lot of time so uh that's where we're at right now but we'll go ahead and get in and show y'all just kind of check on the progress thank you all right so this is the All right, so this is the one that uh, last I checked anyway, she was good. She was in here mated and doing good. Yeah, they look nice, nice and strong. Uh, she's already gonna be marked also. And, uh, yeah, I think my smoker's a little on the weak side had some wet fuel we got a bunch of rent well one and three quarters inches of rain and uh, I'll, I'll take that any day um, pretty packed in here so just gonna try to get my frame up there All right, so they've drawn a lot of good comb here. Starting to fill it with nectar. Oops. Always hate when I accidentally pinch one under the frame rest. Just set that to the side. Uh, What's that? Oh, thing filled with water. Good as night. All right. I had a nuke propped up because I put some colonies in some larger 
boxes and that thing filled up with water. I'll show you on this other one if I remember. But, uh, all right, so going in here, we're gonna see how she's doing. See what we see. Oh yeah, she's been laying this one up. There's a lot of good brood in here. Same in here. Really, really young larvae. So she's doing good. And so this was the one colony that early on I was pretty confident it was okay. Uh, so I never gave this one any uh, extra brood or anything and yeah lots of eggs and young larvae in here this is a good one got a queen cup i'll inspect it here in a second just want to make sure she's not on here yeah she's filled up this side too a lot of good uh young larvae in here not sure if y'all can see any of that it's kind of this is a old comb Makes it kind of hard to see, but uh, now let's check this queen cup. And it's empty. So we'll just tear it down and go on about our business. Yeah, they're storing good nectar around the top here. Man, yeah, that looks great. That looks great. So this one, definitely a su successful mating. So I don't know if y'all saw there, I, I jumped my hands down a little fast and they jumped on me, but I didn't jerk away and they, uh, they lost interest. A lot of times if you jerk your hand back real fast, they'll, they'll get you. And here's some capped brood surrounded by eggs and young larvae in the middle so she's already laid that middle part out it's already emerged and now the outside's about to emerge there's mama right there if y'all can see right here she's doing a doing a great job very pleased with with how she's doing in here there's a lot of bees on a frame and the queens on it I always put it in and kind of do the wiggle like you do when you when you put a hive body on and there's bees just kind of get them to get out of the way uh, not saying you got to do that, but that's just something I do. Uh, whether or not it helps. Brood on here too. That looks great. Same thing. All the middles filled up with eggs and young larvae. And same here. Brood, middle filled up with eggs and young larvae doing great so this one's gonna be booming pretty soon I need to give them a box now that I've got boxes and lids and all that ready to go get them to get out of the way so I had left a question on what do people do when their uh, bees were in the in the way on this frame inside of the frame and I don't think anybody left a comment but I usually smoke down there the only thing I don't like about smoking is a lot of times if you tilt that smoker some of your fuel could come out uh, especially when you're using like sawdust or pellets something small 
and uh, so I don't necessarily like that but uh, a lot of those bees left uh, so I don't necessarily like doing that but a lot of times I will blow down there if the as long as the bees are calm I don't want to go blowing if they're in a bad mood but okay so like I said I think this is the only successful one I'm gonna get into the others and we'll take a look All right, so this is the maimed one. She uh, looked fine other than she had a uh, bum leg. And we're gonna go ahead and take a peek, see if she might be laying, or if uh, they might be trying to supersede her or something. Not quite as strong as this last one. But not horrible. All right, so they didn't really do much with that one outside frame. Now we're going to dig in a little bit more. Here we got the queen. You can kind of tell how when she's walking, she doesn't have the regular wobble. missing a leg or is it just a bum leg let's see looks like she might be missing the last joint on her leg she's right in case y'all can't see her she's right here and it's her on her left side the hind hind leg, the long one. So, but let's see if she's doing anything. Yeah, I don't even see. Uh, I don't even see eggs in here. So, I don't think she's uh, even made it good. There is a few things of larvae in here, not many. So yeah, I think this is a this is a dud, which is why I'm. And there's some of the cells they drew out. Now I don't know if is she the one that came back? Did she get injured in a fight with the other queen? I don't know. Uh, all I know is she's the only queen. And I'm not seeing eggs, so yeah, we're gonna merge or requeen this colony pretty quick. Because it's not gonna do anything like this. Yeah, same, no, uh, no eggs down here. There's drone brood, which tells me maybe the queen was laying drone eggs maybe the workers started laying and now they quit
there's just a very little bit of brood in here. So she could be laying, she just is not, not doing much of anything. Definitely not the kind of queen you want to purchase, sell, or even own. So, a lot of pollen here on this frame. That looks good. So, all right. So that's what's up with this colony. Now the next one should be the the one that looks poorly mated. She's not a big queen. She also uh, doesn't appear to have been laying. This is the one that had that string hanging out, uh, which I'm guessing was probably like a stuck egg or something. I don't, know. I don't know what the technical term for it would be. I'm not a technical guy, but uh, that's what we got for that one. We'll move to the next one. All right. So yeah, this is the one that, like I said, she was either poorly mated, not mated, or something. She's just not, not, not cut out to be a queen of any of my colonies. So we're gonna get both of these replaced as soon as possible. Now let's see if we can find her for you. A lot of empty empty comb. That'd be great to give a good queen nectar in this one. So I gotta remember she's a little tinier. And not necessarily gonna be as easy to spot because she's not gonna wobble quite as much. empty comb in here another good one to give a good queen a lot of nectar don't see any eggs here's a frame that they started on one side One ripped open cell again I don't know was that the cell that they tried to or actually three ripped open cells were those the ones they tried to uh, replace like is this queen a replacement queen that then she was a bad mate here she is right here so a little on the small side Y'all can see her in there. She no longer has that string hanging out, but I don't think she's laying. And yeah, she's uh, fairly on the small side. She may be just plugged up. I'm not seeing uh, any sign of eggs, so is she coming around to the other side? So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close them up. This one, some uh, comb from earlier. And a lot of empty comb there too, so nothing, uh, nothing to brag about here. Nothing at all. Push that back and close her up. Real quick, I'm gonna pick up the camera and just show y'all the whoop, water here. They'll find their way back into the front, but let me pick y'all up real quick. And there's some of the 
collecting water. I really if I'd have known how to pick that up. But. All right, that's it for this yard. Thank y'all for watching. Okay, on to the other nukes. So this one, let me try getting on this other one. This one should be marked. I don't know why I'm wearing my bell. I can't see. Yeah, good looking. Good looking new pair. Okay. Let's put that veil up there. Alright. So. This is one of those that was in the 100% club. Pollen and nectar. Nothing on the back side. Oh, I think I'm going to put this back in and then just go for being careful and scooting frames. So I'm going to scoot everything over. And then we'll just be careful when we pull them out. So here's lots of eggs and larvae. Lots of eggs and larvae in here. She's filled up every one of those holes down in there. It looks good. A lot of brood. Larvae in those open cells. Same. It's pretty calm, pretty calm girls. They're just kind of staying put, not bothering me. A lot of a, uh, eggs and larvae on this frame. Just solid. So this one, she actually kind of got to do a little more what she wanted to. And she's got all of that filled out. I see a few cells maybe missed, but. Or they were cleaned out. Pretty sure I marked her. It was admittingly mostly looking for a yellow dot but let's see what's on here oh there she is right there on the bottom bottom corner it's a pretty darker queen She's coming around to this side, so I'm gonna tuck her away while I can see that she's not on the edge. But so that was a successful one. We'll move on to the next. All right. Now we're gonna get into here. And I'm just gonna sit on this other one if I can. Pull that lid off. Let's see if I can work this away. If I got an empty enough frame, I'll pull it.
All right, a lot of eggs and larvae in here. All throughout the center. Hopefully y'all could see that. Some pollen and nectar. So they're getting a typical brood frame started here. Just going to pull this out real slow because I don't know where she's at. Here's a good one that has a lot of brood in the center and then she's come out to the outsides and filled it. Nice, uh, fairly solid brood there. She's got larvae in the cells that are open. So they're probably going to be Getting around to capping that soon. Some good brood there. Looks like larvae down in those open cells and then towards the outside at the top. I don't see any eggs or anything in the bottom yet. It might, might have drawn that out fairly recent. Some brood there. Eggs in the open cells at the bottom. Looking pretty good. So she's on this one or I missed her. Looking like I might have missed her. This is all nectar. Thought I saw her on the wall, but that was just some pollen on a bee. So for curiosity's sake, let's go through real quick. Now that I've got more room, it'll be fast. And we'll just take a glance, make sure I marked her. Pretty sure I did on all these. I All right, here's mama right here. Looking for more space to lay, I guess. So we're gonna put her back while we see her. And we'll close it up. Mm. 
going to move on to the next one. Uh, this one I can't get to quite as nicely because I got two towers on both sides. So my room is a little limited. If there's if there's any of them that I for, or not forgot but didn't mark yet, this would be it. But I do think I think I marked them all. Alright, so new comb both sides looks pretty good I'm gonna just shake and then set this out to the side assuming it's the least populated the other one this other one may be too but yeah, we'll just get it out of the way all right A little bit of pollen on this one and nectar and I don't see her I'll show y'all this side put peppermint in these and they have already taken it down I think I saw some stored in that one uh, I should have shown the camera if I see some here I'll do that some brood lots of brood in the middle a lot of brood there so she's doing good sure if y'all can see but a lot of eggs down in there and I either missed her or she's hiding somewhere else I don't see her on that one We'll see her on the wall. So we'll just go through them as we put them back real fast. Like I said, I may not. Have, oh, here, I did not mark her. She's right on the corner here. I can't see right now. She's coming up around here. Hopefully y'all can see her. Working her way towards the bottom corner now. Well, there she is and she's looking looking pretty good. We're going to close them off. And we'll put this back in. And we'll move on to some other ones. Alright. <clears throat> These two. 
two I'm going to do just without moving the camera, without stopping it, just to make it easier on me. Good looking nuke here. They could probably use some more space looking that way anyways. Where's my... Keep my frame rest over here because there's a little bit of space on the outside wall. So let's just push these that away. All right. Real gently. See some eggs down there. So that looks good. A lot of pollen here at the end of the brood nest. I don't think she's here, so. And this one's marked. And again, the reason I mark them is, uh, well, it makes them easier to see. But also, we're technically we're in uh, we're in uh, Africanized honeybee territory. I've not had any dealings with them, but. Uh, they are supposed to be around the area, so I mark them just because if I happen to come in and notice the queen is not marked, that will, especially this time of year, you know, when I'm inspecting them weekly, uh, that'll let me know that I've got, you know, a few weeks and I need to start really monitoring their behavior make sure that whatever queen replay you know it could just be a super procedure that they did could be a swarm i missed uh emergency but just to make sure whatever queen was replaced uh with her is not aggressive so i'll take precautions over the next few weeks Oh, here she is right here. So they need to, they need to lay up that other side. I might need to Move the frame. Let's see what we got here. Move that to the outside of the brood nest, depending on what this looks like. So that's nectar there. So it is already on the outside. Nectar on both sides. So we're good there. This one doesn't seem to be performing quite as well. So I'll keep a note of that and uh, maybe replacing this one too soon. Yeah, there is good eggs and larva there, so looks okay for now. move on to this other one well, this board this one was working pretty bad hopefully they didn't get uh, too much rain last night that plywood I don't build with plywood anymore this box seems to be holding up better than most, but that lid, that plywood, it just warps too bad. I'm not a fan. So let's 
so nothing really on that frame good one to set aside some new uh, nectar or a new comb there a lot of brood a lot of eggs she's doing good really laying that up pretty nice see her pretty sure she's marked okay here she is right by my thumb good-looking queen she's doing a good job she's got the center laid up eggs and larvae and then brood around the outside so it's going through the cycle right now nice patch of brood there she's at the top here so we'll tuck her away and we'll just see what we got here there was another bee landed on me real fast, slapped me, but didn't sting. Some more brood on this one. And a lot of brood in here too. So this one's doing good. Nothing on the next frame, so we're just going to close it up and move on. But, uh... I'm pleased with this one. I'm gonna leave myself, a, no, I don't have my marker. See how bad I am at keeping notes? It's gonna leave myself a note on this other one to monitor the brood, her lane pattern, and make sure she's doing good. And uh, look at that top. I mean, that's just pathetic. They'll have plenty of air. If I got another top laying around, I don't. All right, so we're going to move on to the next ones. All right. This one I have y'all at the back of the hive. This is the front. So, uh... Just uh, in case y'all see a lot of bees coming over here or whatever, that's why. Nothing really there. Uh, pollen, bee bread, a little bit of nectar at the top. No eggs yet. Don't remember if these are marked or not. A lot of brood in this frame all throughout the center. So this looks great. There's a lot of, I don't know if y'all can see down in there with the sun. But that looks really good. And nothing on this side yet. They're storing some nectar around the top, some pollen. That actually looks like peppermint down around here. You see a white cell. It's probably the peppermint. Because they, uh, they tore that up. Move on to the next. Looks like I got some wax moth up here in the corner. Kind of a weaker colony at the moment. Okay. Same, we got some pollen over here. 
Here's the queen. She is not marked. She looks good though. And she had a good uh, pattern on that one frame. Let's see if this other side that mates up to it looks just as good or not. Keeping my eye on where she is. Oh yeah, this one's just as good. A lot of a lot of brood in the center here. Not sure if y'all can see, but it looks looks great. She's got a nice solid stack of brood there. All right, where did she go? Here she is, but the top. So I'm gonna tuck her away, and we'll be done with this one. All right. And I'm going to just grab the tripod and move it. Verify y'all can see. Looks like you can. So, can y'all see the back? Yeah, okay. Now y'all are at the front of this hive. This one's not looking too shabby. Got some peppermint still here. So that looks good. Which frame to take here? Let's take this one, it looks empty. These nukes are a little tight on space, so hard to get that first frame out. Just gonna lay that down. Do a little scan for the queen. This is dark B right here. Real dark. Okay, I see a lot of drones. That could have been from the, you know, frames up. Here's some peppermint. Get this bee to move right around here. A lot of peppermint. Storing it. They're loving it. Uh, look for the queen here. A little tougher to spot her when there's drones. And I think I remember she was a darker one too. Don't see her. Got peppermint stored in here. This was some drone comb that could also be, you know, that she laid up some drone comb. And here she is. She's right here. Darker. Hopefully y'all can see her. Coming around the edge now. She's on the back side now. Or in between. And she has a lot of eggs on this side, up around this area. So that looks good. Just gonna try to push that back in, but looks like it's stuck where it is. So there she is. I'm gonna tuck her away while I see her. 
I always like to know where, you know, if, if I've spotted her, I'd like to know where she's at. So I put her back safely. But she's laying, she's doing good. No brood here yet, looks like. But she had some in that dark comb. So I am happy with that. And we're going to close this up and then move on to the last one. Give them back the peppermint to play with. All right, now for the last one, I'm just going to move y'all over. We'll verify y'all can see. Looks like y'all can. So I'm going to move around to this side. Grab myself a seat. And make sure I'm not blocking the entrance. Entrance is over here. And yeah, we'll keep that in my hand. Alright. This is uh, the Advantech lid and box. And it does hold up pretty good. I mean, it's flat as can be. And, uh, you know, no peeling. It's still pretty dang smooth I mean you know it's not a smooth surface really to begin with but it uh, it is pretty smooth considering what you know what the uh, OSB type stuff would look like that stuff is nasty compared to this but it's all gotten pricey, so I I don't build with it anymore. It's also really hard to find. All right, we got some fairly new comb. Don't see the queen. And this looks like a nectar frame because they had a lot of nectar at the top. Some bees buzzing me, so they're not happy about something. Should make here's the queen right here. Pretty looking queen. Y'all can see her. Not marked yet, but a lot of brood here. She's done good. A lot of brood, eggs, well larvae and eggs. Looks great. Same on this side. She's doing good. All right, that looks good. So I've got an idea of starting to sell queens. And I think what I want to do, I'd like to do anyways, is uh, take video or, or still pictures of their brood pattern and uh, a lot of brood coming along here too but uh, I'd like to attach you know brood patterns to the Queens being sold for one to show that I'm, I'm taking the time to verify they're laying good and uh, you know two to give someone a picture of what what she's doing so they know that they're getting a queen that has a, a good reputation a lot of nectar on this one and a lot of nectar on this one too so nectar frame she had two solid ones though of brood for for this size and this young that's pretty good this is uh in this one and I believe that outside one were in the last round. Or maybe it was this one. I don't remember. I know that this one was in the last round. And then the very last one is the the big colony, which we're about to look in. And that one, I, may, I don't remember if I marked it or not. So, they were a little cranky, but they never, never stung me. So, that was good. All right, we're going to... 
Oops, I forgot to put a frame back. Y'all didn't tell me. <clears throat> Bees were trying to tell me. Give us back our frame. Give it back. All right. We're good now. Still a chance to get stung, so might have spoke too soon. Nah, they're good. All right, we're going to move on to this other one. Okay. This is the one that I didn't expect to see that. I'm a little leery on scorpions around here, so that scared me for a second there. So this is the one that we did all the uh, splits from. And uh, at the end, when I quit, I gave them a, uh, a uh, frame with some queen cells on it. And I have been in here already. I don't remember if I did a video at the time. If I did, I lost track of where it was. But uh, if I didn't, then I'm doing it now. But they... Uh, I don't really know why I'm pulling a frame from here. We're just gonna peek real quick at some of these center center frames. So they're starting to draw out up to at least here. A little bit of comb there at the bottom. And we're just gonna see what we got here. I like to see what they're storing most likely honey but could be brood that's a lot of nectar some capped kind of shallow but they could come back and get to that this one's pretty thick at least on the one end over here So yeah, a lot of a lot of honey. Same on that side. And looks like the same here too. Feels like the same. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure they don't have brood. Not that it's a bad thing, but just that I want to know if it is. So, we're going to close them up. Give them this frame back. Okay, sorry. Pinched her. Not in a bad way, though. And, uh... We're going to go ahead and scrape while we're here. that don't worry I'm not forgetting about y'all I'm gonna still go in the bottom just figured I'd give them their top back while I can so I'm gonna come and set it on top of here all right and we're gonna have to pry Okay, so let's go probably over here. I bet I can get that with my fingers. So fresh drawn comb. They're starting to fill that with nectar. So I'm just gonna put it off to the side up here. If I can, without squishing any bees. But 
this looks like all nectar. A little bit of pollen mixed in there. Nectar with a little bit of pollen mixed in there. Scoot that far over. On the nectar, a little bit of pollen, bee bread. Same. Same nectar, pollen. Don't remember if this one was marked. So I'm going to scan for a queen, not for a dot. We got some pollen on here. More pollen. Man, they have ample pollen right now. looking brood frame filled out all the way don't see the queen don't remember if I marked her same on this side <coughs> looks good <coughs> excuse me a little bit of pollen mixed in don't see the queen Kind of thick bees in the lower corner there, but I'm not seeing her. And uh, just for your own sake, you don't have to, you know, I could stop right now. I've seen eggs, I've seen brood. <laughs> All right, hopefully I'm not cutting off the top of my head. I'll scoot down just a little bit. So, I don't know where it cut off, but my battery was dead when I stopped the video. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all saw some eggs at least in here when I was saying you could stop. Again, I don't know how far we went. Uh, I did find the queen. She was beautiful. She had lots of good brood laid up, a lot of eggs. Uh, and again, when I went to stop the video, it was already stopped. Tried to turn the camera on, wouldn't come on. So battery died and I apologize for that I do hope it caught at least most of it that way I can comment that oh it was just right after this hopefully we'll see but uh so there we have it we got that was I believe nine colonies somewhere around there 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I believe. That would cover all, all of them. So, yeah. So, the first three we started here, we've already shown, but we went and looked at them again. Four down there, there was only uh, one that got mated. All the rest of them here got mated. And, in fact, I've got a couple of splits from here. Got mated, no problem. I think I already said this. And then... A yard about 30 miles north west six of them there all got mated no problem two of them about 10 miles northwest uh, both two got mated no problem so if I wouldn't have done that second round of splitting 
then it would have screwed everything up because I'd have, I'd have had, you know, I'd have had to come in here and just tear down cells, tear, tear down cells, tear down cells, and then still continue with the process. But you, you never know. You got to take a chance on if they're going to make it back from their mating flight successfully, which three of the four made it back, just two of those three were not successful. Uh, like I said, one was, uh, I believe, I, and I don't know if there's a technical term for it, I don't know. Leave it down in the comments if you know. But she was plugged up, it looked like. She had a string hanging out. Uh, I pulled it just because, I mean, figure she's already a dud anyways. And doesn't look like she's laying after that. So I'm gonna replace her. The other one had a, looked like maybe the last joint on her left hind leg was missing. So she was kind of walking funny and not laying. Uh, so I'm gonna replace her. And then the other one was doing great. Had a lot of brood, a lot of eggs, larvae. Um, so one successful one down in that other part of my yard. Uh, but all of these were good. I think there was one over here that uh, I'm gonna check the pat uh, the brood pattern, just make sure, you know, it could just be that she didn't have much to work with. She's laying wherever she can. So it's not necessarily a bad thing yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, I may give her a frame of drawn comb empty and just see what she does with it uh, before I go replacing her. But so far, uh, even though it dropped my percentages, which again, I'll leave uh, down in the video, um, I'm happy, you know, that one, one round was bad. All the rest was 100%. So you can't complain about that. Uh, so we got some grafting going on and hopefully, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I may try putting them up here just for superstition sake. Uh, cause I just did not have luck down there. But again, I don't think it's the trees. I think it's the weather that was at the time. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you found this useful at all, or uh, or not, you can uh, tell me by leaving a thumbs up, and subscribe, and even a comment uh, telling me what you liked or didn't like about it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.